Okay, I want to do a little utility knife review. Here are all the ones I've collected over the years. Some I like a little bit more than others. So starting sort of from the beginning, we have the Stanley 199. Uh, it's a fixed blade utility knife. It's one you're going to see used by a lot of drywallers. Uh, I don't always reach for it as my first choice, but it does have some advantages, um, so occasionally I will use it. It's good for drywalling uh, because it has this nice bevel. You can kind of see that as compared to maybe the Stanley 99E. <clears throat> it also projects more of the blade, which can be an advantage in certain instances. This one, you're, you're barely getting any of the blade. Um, sometimes people like to use it for drywalling. If you're scoring a piece of drywall, it's a little bit easier to put it up against the edge of the drywall and the edge of the tape here and guide that down along a cut. So I think that's why a lot of drywallers use it. Uh, you would want to have a sheath for it uh, because otherwise if you put it in your back pocket or something, you're going to get poked. Next step up uh, would be the 99E. This is the one that, uh, I believe this is my first utility knife. It's a very solid choice. I have at least three of these. Um, the, the biggest disadvantage I would say of this one would be that you need the screwdriver or you know penny or something like that to unscrew this, disassemble the body, and replace the blade. You can obviously turn the blade around, uh, but there's no way of doing that without some kind of tool to disassemble this. It just takes a little bit longer, and when you're in the middle of a project, uh, sometimes that's a nuisance. It does have extra blades in the back, so that's always nice. It's a very durable um, design, but uh, that one disadvantage for me always left me wanting a little bit more. Um, similar in style to the Lennox. As you can tell, the Lennox is larger, it's fatter, has that same style. The Lennox is a little bit more ergonomically uh, designed, fits my hand personally a little bit better. Uh, it's a little bit bigger, some people might like that, small hands maybe not. But we'll get back to that one next, after these uh, folding knives. So among the folding knives, the first one I ever got was the Craftsman. It's a pretty simple design. One blade at a time is its biggest disadvantage. Um, you can replace the blade easily enough without needing any tools, but you don't have any extra blades on the knife itself. So that to me is kind of a deal breaker. Uh, two handed operation with all these folding knives to at least close it. You can do one hand if you have a strong thumb or if you get the technique down you can lubricate the joint, loosen it up a little bit. Um, so getting it out is not a problem but putting it back you need a couple hands to do that so maybe if you're up on a ladder if you're holding something else uh, then maybe that's not ideal. The Craftsman is a little bit on the small side. Uh, I could see that being nice if you're the type of person who carries a knife around, uh, but on the job I don't find myself reaching for this one very much. Speaking of carrying around the knives, this one's kind of cool. Looks nice, looks sharp, uh, clean. Uh, safety right there. Um, so you have to actually engage the safety just to open it. You can't just flick it open. So to some that might be a disadvantage. It does lock in two positions. Fully open and then sort of this one. Um, maybe nice for if you're doing carpeting or something like that. You don't have to change your angle all the way. Um, so to take carpeting out, it's a little bit easier ergonomically. I haven't used this one too much, uh, but I like the looks of it, uh, the ergonomics of it, it seemed like a cool um, idea. I don't know how, how uh, 
useful it is to have this hole for your finger. This uh, detail right here doesn't necessarily fit my hand perfectly, but uh, kind of a cool knife. And then I came across these, uh, which are similar in a lot of different ways. Um, you know, they're both folding knives. They both have this detail here, which is, uh, to me, an upgrade over the Craftsman. You can bear down on this with a, a little bit more force if you're cutting into something uh, harder or if you're doing a lot of scoring in a, a hard material like a cement backer board that requires you to score and score it several times before you snap it. So I like, I like that as opposed to this. Um, again, two hands to fold it in, but one hand to open it, so that's kind of nice. This one's a little bit different from the Craftsman. You push this and it comes out. So it's just a slightly different uh, design. It's a hook rather than a friction, which is what the Bessie and the Craftsman use. It's just kind of a friction fit. So perhaps this is better in the long term. I haven't had problems with either of these designs so far, but I'm just speculating. Fairly easy to take the blade out. The big advantage of these two knives, as opposed to the Craftsman, or mo most folding knives, is this right here. You have onboard storage of extra knives, which to me is a big bonus. I hate having to carry around extra blades. I try to, you know, think about carrying that with me when, when I go to a job, or if I'm up on the ladder, or under the house, or on a roof, or something like that to have those extra blades there without having to go back to my truck or to my garage or something like that. Having them right there is just a big advantage. So that's why these two are definitely an improvement over the Craftsman or the Tecna Edge um, or even the Stanleys which require a you know, second tool of some sort to uh, access the onboard storage. I would say for me Personally, the Greenlee is a little bit better than the Bessie. It uh, just fits my hand better. It's a little bit larger, more substantial, uh, but I think that's personal preference. Uh, lastly, I would say this is probably the one I go to the most frequently. It's the Lennox. Um, it has the familiar slide style, uh, so you can use it with one hand, open and close. You can put this in your pocket uh, very easily. Uh, without having to worry about having a second hand if you're up on a ladder to um, fold it up or something like that for it to be safe and you know not stab you in the butt or something. Um, GAN has onboard storage but it uh, is easy to access. You have this little slide here opens up as opposed to the 99E. You can fit uh, I would say safely or easily maybe four blades in here it's got a little friction fitting in there. They can sometimes be difficult to get out. But this sliding mechanism is very nice uh, in terms of one hand use. Taking this blade out is usually pretty easy with this design. You push it forward and to the side, and that's how you load it as well. I usually don't have a problem with it, sometimes I do. I have three of these. Uh, I had one of them have a problem with this mechanism at one point. Uh, one problem I do have with it on occasion is if you're pushing down on something hard and you're really trying to score it, I might push it over inadvertently and the blade starts to slip out. That's kind of annoying. Um, it's not the kind of thing that's going to happen with these um, or with the Stanley, um, but it's just one of those trade-offs I guess. So that's my review of the knives I have come across. None of them are perfect. Um, but they all sort of have their niche. Uh, if you have any feedback, any knives you recommend, I'd love to hear it. Thanks.